welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video that has been requested quite a few times and it's all about pomegranate perfumes and the pomegranate perfume ingredient. If you're new here then welcome, we are all about perfumes, fragrances here. So check out my hundreds of other videos, I have loads of perfume note videos like this, range reviews, you name it. Keep leaving your requests for videos in the comments, I do read all your comments. And of course if you haven't already then do subscribe, if you're a regular, you haven't subscribed yet, do hit that button and show your support, I do really appreciate it. So Pomit of course is that red fruit with all the seeds and pips in it. It's actually classified as a shrub and originally is from um, northern India I think, Arabia, Persia and has sort of grown throughout the Mediterranean for a very long time. It has a fruity um, fresh watery scent to it so it's kind of like a berry type scent. I'd say it's a bit more airy and lighter than a raspberry or blackberry and it's not as sweet either but it is delicate and very very fresh and feminine smell. So let's get into the perfume. So the first one I wanted to mention and if you're a regular here you're probably sick of hearing me talk about this but it is the Elisab Le Parfum Resort Collection and the reason why I'm talking about this so much is because it's discontinued and you won't be able to get it for long and it's for whatever reason it seems to be reduced everywhere. I got this for about half price, I think it was £30 for this large size. So if you're a fan of Elisab or you like pomegranate um, and these kind of holiday versions then do get this, it is lovely. So it's basically that signature beautiful orange blossom scent of Ellie Saab. Mm. So, so, so classy. But then it has frangipani in which is the um, tropical flower and then it has pomegranate and pomegranate is probably the main note alongside the orange blossom and the frangipani I think comes down as it settles but it's that fresh pomegranate smell that differentiates this from the original Elisab Le Parfum. It's not that different but it's just a little bit more fruitier, fresher, I mean it's the holiday version, it's Elisab on holiday right? But beautiful classy smell, I wear this and the original which I also have when I want to feel like really classy and sophisticated, perhaps I'm going on a really, you know, into an expensive shop or I don't know, or a, a sort of professional environment, I wear this, I just think it smells so classy and upmarket and if you said to someone that this perfume cost, you know, £300 and was worn by Kate Middleton and or something, I don't think they'd ever doubt you because that's how it smells, just very beautiful and feminine upmarket and sparkling like champagne. So yeah, I, I, I will never stop going on about Ellie Saab. So yeah, if you haven't got this and you're a fan, then get this before it goes. And I'll leave the, the links down below guys as always. So another pomegranate perfume is one of my favourite perfumes of all time, Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming. This is raspberry, blackcurrant, pomegranate and then a very sophisticated rose. Mm. So this is another one of these very classy smells. The rose is there throughout, it's, it's delicate and pretty and modern rose but the Absolutely Blooming is the fruitiest of all the Miss Dior's. I've done a video explaining the whole range by the way, I'll, I'll leave that link if you haven't seen it or if you're confused because it is easy to confuse, they all do look quite similar. But yeah, Absolutely Blooming is the one that has the pomegranate in, it has the blackberry, um, blackcurrant in. It's just a little bit more fruity version, but it still has that signature misty or mm, rosy smell. So if you like your slightly fruity berry type perfumes, you like your pomegranates, then this is the one for you from the misty or range. It's an eau de parfum as well. In terms of lasting power, it's okay. It's not amazing, um, but it's a beautiful classy smell. Of course one of the most famous pomegranate perfumes is Jo Malone's Pomegranate Noir. Now this personally I find to be nice but not great for lasting. It also has cloves in and pink pepper and I don't like either of those ingredients really so the pomegranate to me is dominated by the cloves and I get cloves as the main note here so even though you think that name pomegranate noir that this was a really really pomegranate perfume 
perfume. I actually think it should more be called like clove noir with a side of pomegranate. So it really isn't all about the pomegranate and um, they're very expensive. And if you like cloves, then you'll definitely like this. But if you're looking for a pomegranate perfume, this isn't the one I'd put near the top of the list. So next on my list is Omnia Coral. Now I've been talking about this a lot because I just bought it. It has um, beautiful, beautiful notes of like tropical chiari flowering, tropical flowers, but it's also very pomegranate-y. And I find that this lasts quite well, especially, especially considering it's an eau de toilette. Mm. This really smells of pomegranate. Of all of them, I'd say this is the purest pomegranate smell. I mean, it even is the colour of pomegranate. Yeah, it really smells of pomegranate, this. If you really just want something that's very, very pomegranate, get this. And then, as it settles, you start to get all these tropical flowers, these very sort of um, fresh flowers. Hibiscus, water lily. Mm. But at first it was really, really pomegranate-y, now it's starting to mix a bit. And, you know, I just think the bottle's really cool. It's, um, the small size is like this, but the larger sizes are like, um, I think you, they're called click and sprays, like you just press it down, it shoots out. So very innovative bottle, aren't they? Very cute. Another very pomegranate-y perfume, and one of my favourites that's on my wish list, is Versace's Bright Crystal. This is a very, very fresh, light, uplifting perfume. It is beautiful peony, which is very fresh and watery flower, has water lily, lotus flower in, magnolia, and then pomegranate is the fruit here. So pomegranate makes this slightly sweet. It brings out the sort of oceanic-y, watery notes in this, bring out the watery side of the sweet pomegranate smell. So it just feels really uplifting and fresh but it stays, it stays the skin and there's an absolute version as well which is even more intense so better for lasting so it's the kind of smell that you think you'd spray and then it would disappear after you know two minutes because it's so airy but for some reason it lasts and that's why I love this also the bottle is beautiful obviously um, and it's very affordable as well so it's definitely on my list to buy I spray this a lot I recommend it a lot I love it really really underrated and it's been around for a while but you know it's stuck around showing how good it is and yeah I really like this and I need to buy it there is a version of flower bomb which has a lot of pomegranate in so Flower Bomb Bloom is quite different to the other Flower Bombs, which have so much patchouli in, very intense. Flower Bomb Bloom is very light, and um, it's freesia and pomegranate, and very oceanic-y, watery smell again. You know, you tend to get that with pomegranate smells because they're quite tropical and fresh, so great for spring, summer. So if this is different to the, uh, you know, if you like freesia, it's nothing like normal flower bomb. So ignore that. It's an eau de toilette. So it's very, very light. And um, if you're looking for something very subtle and light and pretty, or perhaps someone you think would like flower bomb, but you don't want to get them such a heavy perfume, then get this. Or perhaps a young person, you know, wanting something quite innocent and young. This is that pretty delicate, pomegranate freesia smell, very light, airy, uh, girly. Kind of on a similar vein, though I'd say a bit stronger, is from Sin the Signorina in Fiore, from Salvatore Ferragamo. This is pomegranate and cherry blossom. Um, so quite sweet. Cherry blossom is a sweet flower almost. It's pretty and light and delicate, but very very nice for spring summer I think. I have the Mysteriosa version of this which is a deeper berry, a milky berry. This is like the sweet younger sister of that so this is more for someone who wants something light and you know skipping through the fields and fresh and surrounded by cherry blossom with that fresh fruity pomegranate really lasting and sticking through and I think the bottle is beautiful as well right with that um, different coloured bow. 
For a very affordable pomegranate, then the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea range released a green tea and pomegranate. And this is really fruity and it doesn't really smell like green tea that much at all. It's pomegranate and passion fruit. So it's like a fruity holiday. Elizabeth Arden has gone to the tropics on holiday smell. Um, Cause passion fruit, of course, very, very tropical. But um, the pomegranate is the main note, so it's got that sweet freshness. And I think these are about £10 maybe for the full size. So you could just go mad with this, perhaps spray it after a shower all over and just have that like smell of fresh tropicalness following you around. If you're a Machino fan, then Cheap and Chic Petals is pomegranate and strawberry. So kind of the strawberry will is going to bring out the sweeter side of that pomegranate there so it has some floral notes underneath but it's mainly like a sweet pomegranate hence the red color i guess there's a hint of ginger in here and at first you get that which makes the pomegranate very fresh and sharp but that then goes and it comes into this um sort of greeny strawberry in the field pomegranate it's more the bringing out the sweeter side of the pomegranate note from my Burberry, from the Burberry range, we have my Burberry Blush. This is kind of like the cute, innocent one again. Pomegranate here mixing with like a fresh green apple and a fair amount of floral notes here, lots of rose. So again, this is a very innocent, um, feminine smell. It's pomegranate and the apple add an element of fruitiness, but it's more just like a freshness than a fruitiness. And mixing with that rose makes this a very fresh rose. So pretty nice, again, definitely for someone like during the day, not an evening perfume, someone quite innocent. You could wear this to work perhaps, you know, it's it's very delicate and feminine and girly. So Kelvin Klein's Euphoria actually uses a lot of pomegranate, but for me, you only get it in the initial spray. Euphoria fades out to me into all the other notes that are in there. But there was a flanco called Euphoria Crystalline, which was orchid and pomegranate and for me this was more pomegranate than the original so it's there in, in both it's there in a lot of them but I just wanted to call out that crystalline is more pomegranate than the original euphoria which is quite heavy and and brings out the wood in there and the lotus and everything so yeah interesting one this Christmas that we just had saw Victoria's Secret bring out their holiday edition of Bombshell and this was all about the pomegranate. So pomegranate is I guess an autumnal perfume right so it's not surprising that we see this in wintry perfumes as well as summery ones. So this was basically all about the pomegranate, it didn't really smell like anything else, like sweet, fresh, fruity, not quite as floral as original flower, um, flower bomb? Bombshell. Um, but yeah I, I don't know if you'll still be able to get this, if I can find it, I'll leave it a link because the bottle was really beautiful. But then it, they do have a pomegranate body spray which is called Sequin Night. So this is just like a fresh, light pomegranate smell. And then for a very simple, fresh, uh, very affordable fragrance, then Hawaiian Tropic have Island Resort. This is the purple bottle and this is pomegranate with a little bit of orchid, but it's predominantly pomegranate. So you've got that, um, this would go well sort of layering with any of these other pomegranate fragrances, perhaps to top up or refresh during the day. Again, you could spray this after a shower to sort of help layer. So it's light, it's refreshing, it's a daytime body spray, but very, um, very affordable. And then I did want to add that the White Company, which is one of my favorite brands Brands. They make um, clothing and household things. My bed is from the White Company. Loads of things here. My bedding, um, I get loads of clothes from them. They do actually have some room sprays and body sprays and candles. And they have this one called the Pomegranate Collection. And the, this is like an autumnal type smell, but it's really nice. I bought this candle in this range quite a few times as gifts for people. Um, my mum uses this a lot and it smells lovely so it's very classy I don't know I think this white company is sold everywhere around the world it's so successful but I am a huge fan so do shout if you would like a video all about the white company fragrances 
So guys, that's it. That's my rundown of pomegranate perfumes. Do let me know if you have any others that you'd add to this list. I'm sure there's loads of others we could add. Um, do give the video a thumbs up if it's been helpful, useful, interesting, and do subscribe if you haven't already. But thanks so much for watching as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.